So beyond the actual working with the paper textures, there are other options that you have for creating really interesting textural effects on your, on your illustrations or your paintings. So let's take a look now at applying and using a very, very lovely uh, way of applying texture to an image that is more about the images that you may have in your own file on your computer. So this is a lot of fun. What we're going to do here is use what we call the place command. So I'm going to select file, place, and I'm going to migrate to the area where I keep all my textures and I have quite a few of them and what I'm going to do here is go to KB's watercolor textures and I'm going to choose a, a watercolor texture um, that I think will work for this particular image. Now I think I'll go ahead and pick up this one called scan number two and open it up and I'm just going to go ahead and select the scaling as it is because you'll notice now that the layer adjusters are available and I, I can actually uh, resize the image to the size to, to, to size it exactly how I would like it to be. And let's go ahead and get this bottom one and make sure that the entire image is filled. And that looks pretty good. Now here's where the magic really happens with these overlays. Um, one of the options you have is to choose the gel or multiply blend mode and you can see that the, that creates a wonderful textural effect over the image and depending upon how dark or how light you want it to be, uh, you have lots of opportunities to go into it and um, get it just exactly the way you'd like it to be. The other option is to play with the overlay blend mode and boost it all the way up and just to kind of see what happens with your image as you apply it. At any time a layer mask can be added uh, to remove certain parts of the image that that you want to reveal back into the original image or you can continue to play with additional uh, blend modes or uh, composite methods in Painter and get exactly the look that you're after. So let's go ahead and change this a little bit and we'll go ahead and convert this by right clicking and choosing convert to default layer. Now again you have the option of picking up your eraser and simply going in and erasing the areas that you don't want to show in the final image. However, let's take a look at another way we can do this by adding a layer mask. So I'm going to go ahead and select I'm going to select the layer mask icon, new layer mask, and I want to make sure that I'm always working on the right hand side and you can notice that there is a black frame that goes around the layer mask and that indicates that I'm actually working on the layer mask. If I select the actual layer image here, you'll notice that the black frame changes. So that would mean I was working actually on this overlay. But instead I'm going to go back to my layer mask and I'm going to pick up the color black and we're going to actually use black to reveal what is underneath. So I'm going to commit my layer, make sure that I'm on my uh, layer mask and using the color black I'm going to come in here and the pen, the brush I'm using is the Nervous Pen brush which is a lot of fun. It's a great brush to use. Very creative. And it will continue to enhance the effects that I'm trying to achieve in this illustration. And I want to keep some of this watercolor appeal going. 
so I can very carefully keep some areas in and take and take some areas out. So I can be very, very selective. Okay, and that, that looks pretty good. And at that point, I can go ahead and save the image as a RIF or uh, apply the layer mask, go ahead and drop the layers. So let's just go ahead and choose layers, drop all. And there's our finished illustration. So again, at, even at this point, if I want to go in and apply texture further, then I can simply use the technique of the grayscale again. Control fill or command F to fill. Control F or command F to fill. And I'm going to go ahead and just select a nice um, handmade watercolor. And I'm again going to go to effects, surface control, apply a surface texture and select OK and we're going to change that blend mode to multiply and we'll try multiply first and bring the opacity down till it's just about right and you can also play with the overlay blend mode as well and I think I like that one better. That actually looks better to me. And there you go. So again, some really creative ways of applying paper texture in Painter. And again, this is only the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more. Have fun.